Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is using Lightroom and uh, Adobe Photoshop to clean up the foreground and the background of an image just so that the viewer is not distracted when they're looking at the image. Here's the original um, or the final view of this Caspian Turn image that I've created. And I've, I've done all of the cleanup work already in this image. Here's the image that we're going to work on today. And you can see that there are these distracting elements in the background and in the foreground. What happens when somebody reads an image like this is they'll, they'll start up here in the corner and they'll go down the diagonal line of the wing and they'll get down to these heads and then they'll, their eyes will be drawn to these dark spots here or maybe the white spots down here. We really want them to look at the, this, the fish that's in this one beak here. So to do that, we could go over into the Lightroom uh, spot removal tool but that is sometimes difficult to use. The easier way to make these uh, corrections and to clean this up is with uh, Photoshop. And so we're going to hit Command E and we're going to go over to Photoshop uh, and we're going to use the patch tool. The patch tool and a little bit of the clone tool will uh, really clean these images up. So here we go, Photoshop starting to load now. And here we, I'll uh, click OK on that dialog box. So here's my image. I'm going to go over to the left panel here and grab the patch tool and I'm just going to uh, draw a circle around here and then I'm just going to click in the middle and move that to the right and click again. That's still a little bit dark there so I'll take a sample again. There's that something there that's a little bit darker. Just to clean that up and yeah that cleaned that up really nicely. Here's this other big distracting area right here so we can clean that up and then there's a little area here. So it's just a matter of drawing a circle clicking in the center, moving it to the right or the left to get your sample area, and letting go, making sure that you, you know, making sure that the sample area is correct is probably the hardest part. There were some edges in there that I didn't like. Let's clean up the sand now. You can see that this is a really fast cleanup method just to get rid of distracting elements. We're not really changing at this point the composition or how the how the image looks or the feel of the image or anything. We're just changing the image enough so that people will concentrate down here on the eye and the beak and this fish that are in this Caspian turn. One other thing about this is if you have something on the edge down here, quite often the patch tool doesn't work really well, so we'll go to the clone tool We'll just pick, uh, we'll make the, the uh, sample a little bit bigger there. Hit the Option key or the Alt key. Take rid of that, get rid of that little edge there. Hey, and so there we have it. So we've cleaned up this image really quickly in less than about a minute, really. And it looks a lot nicer. I mean, it's just a cleaner, more professional looking image. Uh, it's less distractions for people. So I think that that really improved it. If you like what you see on my channel, please give me a like or subscribe. Thanks a lot, and I will see you on the next video.